Uh, I'm heading out with the 3070 to do some disking. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, it is Thursday, June the 13th, I believe. Uh, it's about, I don't know, it must be close to quarter to 10 or 10 o'clock now. Um, warm day, I think it's 18 or 20 degrees already. Uh, I'm heading out with the 3070 to do some disking because uh, the weight's still a part. Uh, I know guys say uh, I use the weight a lot, so maybe it's good that I'm using something different for a change, you guys will see. Some, uh, some red paint instead of some silver paint for a while, I guess. So, this is the stuff, uh, well not there yet, this is the stuff that uh, we're going to plant the corn in. It's getting pretty late uh, planting corn, unfortunately. Uh, we're, I mentioned before, we're waiting on uh, the firm that owns the planter to get done with it. And uh, they never got their corn in yet either, so uh, if we had known a couple weeks ago when we were seeding that grass seed, uh, I'm sorry I can't get a good angle at the camera here, I'm running out of cab space, but uh, yeah, if we had known that they weren't using it then, we would have brought it over and planted air corn and then brought it back to them, but uh, I guess it's too late for that now. Uh, anyway, so... We're going to disc it today, uh, and then hopefully, I don't know when we're going to plant it, probably next week now. Uh, got a bunch of more rain coming in the forecast and stuff, so I don't know. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, I think they're still planning on planting it under plastic. Um, although I'm not sure if there's even a point anymore or not. Uh, the other farm says they wouldn't plant they wouldn't plant corn without plastic, but I don't know. Being in the middle of June, I think it'd be pretty safe to do your plant without it, but I don't know. I don't know. We've never grown corn here, so I just don't know. Anyway, I'm just about to the field now, so hopefully everything goes well, nothing falls apart, and uh, you know, whatnot and so forth and etc. So this one 3070. Oh yeah, this is the newer of the two 3070s too. Not the one with the loader on it. We just took the plows off it 10 minutes ago. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna disc with it right now. Well, I have no idea what that last clip looked like because apparently it was in some kind of a weird nighttime mode thing or something. I was trying to make a video the other day inside the silo, but whatever. So, uh, this guy up here just made my first pass onto the second now. I had to do a loop around there because uh, I missed the corner first. It's kind of hard to tell with the, with the part that's seeded and the part that's not seeded. And there's a little bit of grass growing into that corner anyway, so I kind of missed it the first time. But anyway, uh, I'm in. Uh, third gear A range and in high which equals out to about uh, 7.3 kilometers an hour with the void I usually disc at uh, around nine nine and a half I could bump it up I got the the power shift in the low side so I could flick it up to high and it'd be a bit faster. But it seems to be fast enough. I don't need to go any faster, no hurry or anything. The uh, tack's not working on this thing. I love these 3000 series tractors, but it just seems like the tacks never really work good in them. I've never trusted one. Like if I see them over low hours, I don't know. But unless you see it in person, I wouldn't trust the hours on it. Because they just don't seem to work very well. This one here isn't working, although it's clocked up at least 3,200 hours before it stopped working. Uh, I don't think the 3651 works correctly, or if it does, it's got a different minute than the original. 
and the other 37, I'm not even sure if that works either or not. So I mean, it would be over 3 on the tachometers and 3000 series tractors. So yeah, I'm going to go corner here. I don't have to lift the disc really because you're going to be raking this anyway. So that'll, that'll even out the ridges that the disc will leave. It didn't seem to leave too much of a ridge there anyway. Just bump the camera. I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed. The, uh, uh, what do you call it? The radio antenna is bouncing off the roof. I guess Dad has it folded down to get in and out of the, one of the buildings or whatever. So it's, I'll have to get out and deal with that. There's a rock there. It's gonna have to pick that up. I think I'm off the rig. Pick that to the side. It's kind of big. Looks like. So yeah, let me point the camera behind myself here for a minute. Everything seems to be going pretty good. Doesn't seem too wet. It's not sticking to the tires too bad. Seems like it's easier just to hold this. I don't extend the selfie stick thing. Oh well. So. Shouldn't take too long to disc this up. It's like about four acres or something like that. Three and a half maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I told Dad where to stop for it to be four acres and they didn't stop there. So I don't know what it actually is now. I'll have to measure it again. But if we need more space, I guess it wouldn't hurt to disc up another little bit of alfalfa that we already planted. I guess they won't mind that. But uh, yeah. Any who's the uh, silo guys came today. Actually, they came. They came yesterday evening, uh, about, well we were still milking, about uh, 5.30 I guess, and they started setting up then, and they came early today, I don't know what time it was, 8, 8.30 I guess, gear shifts are in my way home up there, I don't know why I didn't bring my GoPro man, I don't think I'd be smart enough to do that, but anyways, yeah, uh, you know, I think they're just pressure washing off the inside. They do that first, they pressure wash it all. They had their scaffolding set up last night. And uh, then they grow it after that, I guess. So, looks like a fun job. I don't know, they got four guys there, I think, so. Anyway. They'll get that done. Probably get it done today, I wouldn't do. So. Anyway guys, I'll uh, continue out my disc in here and uh, you guys can check in with me later. Well guys, it's disking up pretty good. I got a little bit here left, as you can see behind me. That quite a bit done too though. So, anyway guys, I just thought I'd stop here for a minute and take an Instagram picture. That's going to put the rake there now. Just finished disking that piece. Take a look at that breaking rock, rocks here with the 885.
Well, that was fun. Breaking rocks. First time that I've done that. By fun, I mean it sucks. Ah, the old 885. Hydraulic lever is a little bit annoying on it. Let's have a little demonstration here. So, up is that way. It doesn't actually do anything until it's like all the way up. Or down, I don't really remember. Anyway. Alright, well, welcome back. It's after lunch. Uh, I have the 3070 again. Uh, but this time I got the rock picker on it. Uh, my uncle took over there when he came home from fishing. Uh, raking rocks, so we're going to take this out and gather some up. So, that's what's up. Kind of the sucky thing about the rock rake, rock picker, I mean, is that it's so wide. So it ends up running over some of the grass on the way out. I don't know if you guys can see or not. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing. But, uh, so you don't want to be making multiple trips back and forth out here. So, if we were doing multiple fields, we'd just leave the rock breaker uh, out here. But I think it's just the one, so it won't take much more than an hour or so to pick these rocks. And then this field will be all done and ready to go for when the corn planter arrives. So, anyway, let's get at her. See how good I am multitasking, I guess. Dad will put the raisin lower. Uh, Dad will put the raisin lower hoses backwards, so that's the bad at it, a little difficulty. Very good job of multitasking here. <laughs> Alright, it's going a little bit better now. I meant to switch those hoses around when I dumped that last load, but I forgot, so I guess I'll have to deal with it. I'm in one low, I'm not using the creeper. The river is all seized up anyway. I think there's a couple guys on YouTube now that are using these. Uh, I know that uh, Minnesota Millennial Farmer has one. I think it's bigger and newer than this one. On you? Same principle anyway. So basically I'm just going along and pick up the windrows of rocks left by the rock rake. My uncle's up there, you can see him. So anyway, yeah, that's about it. Alright, time to dump a load. Just pretty much gotta find somewhere that it'll fit in the woods and then empty it basically. It's kind of concerned with that tire there. It seems like it's a bit low, but it might just because of all the weight in it. And empty and then we close it up. Easy peasy. It's a little bit stayed in. Pull ahead some. <clears throat> Just relaxing, got the feet up. Cheer picker rocks play hand always weight. Looks like I'll be able to finish it. Last 
is heading back home. Another maybe 10, 15 minutes we'll be done here myself. Just dumped the last load. It's 3070. Feel looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Just been a rock here and there, but it's to be expected. My sleeve hitch came, I figured I'd do an unboxing of it. I got an audience though. So I'll set the camera down and take it out I guess. It's supposed to be bent like that. I think they're supposed to be six. There's two more. There's the last one. somehow to hold it. Hardly any paint left on it, but I know that though. Everything's solid. It's not pretty much going to rust through on it. So these go like that. And they're held in somehow by these. attached the same way.
interesting. Oh, uh, figurative. I did the first one to figure it out. It's actually really easy. These here go through the slots in it. Like so. And then this here goes up through. Let me put the camera down for a second. goes in to lock it and just hammer it down all right assembly is all done so I'd say this thing's got a fair bit of use on it I assume that this is a new I don't know what they're called I know when they're wider they're called sweeps I don't know if it's still a sweep when it's this narrow anyway like these ones are rounded, like I'd say they've been flipped before. That one's another pointed one. Looks like it's been... I assume it's a new one, unless someone just cut it. Which might be the case too. But, I was thinking about maybe putting like some of these had six inch wide sweeps on them. I was thinking about putting those on it. I don't know if it would only fit three or uh, yeah, three bars on each side then or what. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Probably have to do clipped sweeps on the ends just so it won't interfere with the rows. It's set right at 42 inches wide right now. I'll back up a bit. Some of these are bent too, but not too bad. I think it's just three quarter rod. That one's bent, you can see. I think it's just three quarter rod. The other thing is I really have no way to set the depth on it. So I'll have to deal with that. Might be able to set it on the tractor itself. And yeah, this thing also was supposed to have a, a thing for weight, but uh, it might be heavy enough as it is. It's about 60 pounds, so I might not need it. I'll have to just try it, see what happens. I guess this is how it attaches to the tractor, just a pin through there and then tighten up against right there you can see the old marks so yeah looking forward to trying it out anyway guys that'll be it for me today uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit the like button uh, leave a comment below and uh, subscribe if you want to we'll uh, be back tomorrow with another video See you later, guys. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm not ready for that yet, I guess. Anyway guys, we'll get some more of this done and uh, we'll check up on you later. Or we'll check, you guys can check up on me later, I guess. I'm going to start that over.